Hello and welcome. My name is Pete and today we're going to be looking at a new die designed by none other than Mr. Tim Holtz, which is causing quite a stir in both paper crafting and home decor circles. Now, this die is a Biggs XL and it contains all the separate elements that you will need to create something like this, these gorgeous little houses. The name of the die is the Village Dwelling. Now, you can see that the houses, to create them, I've actually covered stiff card with free downloadable papers to create the cladding, brick and stone effects. So if you want to find out more about the papers, then there will be a link at the end of this tutorial. So let's begin. Okay, so to begin with, what we're going to do, we're going to place the card that we're going to be using onto the die and I'm going to cut everything in one go. So I'll take this ivory strip then this long strip of craft card. This is for the porch roof. Then there, and finally, for the walls of the house. Now, because it's a big XL, I've got my extra long plates. So I'll place one on top of there and create my sandwich. Now today I'm gonna to be using my Big Shot Express machine so I'll take out my platform. We don't need that when we're using a big style. And I place my sandwich in the mouth of the machine and press the button. And there we are. Now I remove my top plate. There are the walls of the house and you can see the little windows just pop out there, like so. There's one. And remember, not only has this cut the shapes, it's also creased it where you need to fold as well. So we'll pop those little windows out. That's the other wall. And that's the porch roof. the base, the front door, we have the porch supports, the main roof, and finally the chimney breast. Oh, let's not forget the front step. And that's everything we need. Right, so as you can see, we've die cut all the different parts, but I've added some double-sided sticky tape to the walls of the houses, the chimney breast, the step, everywhere it needs to go. I didn't think you want to watch me applying the sticky tape, so we just got that bit over with. Also, I've folded along the crease lines, so it's all ready. Now, we're gonna begin by putting these walls together. It's always best to fold them flat, so I'll use my craft knife just to lift the backing of this tape. And when I say flat, because when people are putting boxes together, they often make this mistake. So I'm gonna make sure that both parts of the base are parallel, so that when that joins up, it's absolutely spot on. Then I'll take off the other tab, and again, that's in place. Now, because I did it like that, I know that when it sits, it's gonna sit flat. So that's absolutely perfect. Okay, now we're gonna attach the roof and we're gonna put the base together. Now, you can see that I've, to create the base, there are little tabs on the end here. And I've glued three of those ready. So we'll just add a tiny blob of glue just to the end there. And that's it, ready to go. You can use these houses with or without the base, whatever your preference. And there we have it. 
So that's what our house is going to sit on. Now, let's get back to the house itself, because what I need to do first is remove the backing of the double-sided tape. There's one. There we are. Perfect. Now, I'm going to lift that up, fold my tabs back into place. And you can see the front of the roof has this little groove. That's going to sit over the door. So we'll get that in place. Make sure your house is square. And then press that down firmly. So that's in place. Now what I'm going to do is on the inside, I'm just going to press these tabs into place. Some people prefer to use PVA glue. Some people might prefer to use a glue gun. I just find that double-sided tape is somewhat quicker and easier. So there we have it. Now, next, we've taken the tape off these two tabs here. That's where a porch is going to sit. This is the porch roof, and that I'm going to place like so. And we'll just hold that until it sticks. And I think that's pretty perfect. Now, we're almost halfway there. So, the next thing I'm going to do is attach my door. I'm going to use some PVA. Double-sided tape, just as good again, but depends what you prefer. I'm just going to get a little blob on the front here. Remember, we cut the door separately at the beginning, just to get a little bit of contrast. There we are. So I'll place that on there, like so, and it's really starting to take shape now. Now, the next thing I want to attach is our chimney breast. And you can see I folded as before and attach the tape in place. As with the walls at the beginning of the house, I want to fold this flat. That makes sure it's perfectly square. Then we'll push back these tabs like so. And place this. You can put it in the center or to the left or right. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to place mine here and just let the double-sided tape do its work. There we are. Now, the step. This one attaches to the house with some double-sided tape. But before we do that, I'm going to apply some glue to the front tabs because we want to attach our porch supports. So we'll fold those two little tabs back and apply a little of the PVA, a tiny little blob there and there. So that's in place and I'll take my supports. Now, we need to make sure these are both parallel. So there's a little slot here and then with a little bit of glue, You don't want to go too over the top with the glue. This is pretty strong stuff that I'm using, so it's just a thin film there. Now there's number one and there's number two. So we're all ready to go to put this in place. Now this bit can be quite a bit fiddly. Just doesn't really bother me, to be honest with you. So I'm going to take the backing off there and I want to make sure this is on right on the front of the house. Bang in the middle. Like so. There we are. I get my two porch struts in place. That's lovely. And where they're sticking up above the porch there, that's where we need to fold them back. So they're going to attach underneath. And again, a little bit of glue. So a little bit too much glue there. So I'm going to use that. Just dab that with my finger there and there. Now, let's get those in the right place. And 
and there we have it one perfect little village dwelling and there we have it so if you remember at the beginning of this tutorial we talked about the free downloadable papers and these are some of the houses that we made using them and don't forget there are many other similar dies in this range so why not check those out and if you want to know anything more about these dies or other dies why not go along to our website or check out the blog thanks very much for watching see you again soon